for reasons why Sister Wives star Mary Brown will always be single. In a poignant reflection on their fertility challenges, Cody Brown and Mary Brown, featured on the Sister Wife special, Look Back, Where We Started, delved into the past episodes of the reality series to revisit their journey. On the episode that aired on December 24, Cody, 54, expressed gratitude for not having more children, recognizing that their health at the time would not have been conducive to proper parenting. As the couple watched clips from 2012, a time when they entertained the idea of undergoing in vitro fertilization, IVF, to expand their family, it became evident that their perspective had shifted over the years. Despite their initial optimism, Cody and Mary, 52, ultimately decided against pursuing IVF. Their only child, Leon, was born in July 1995. Mary, in a throwback episode from that era, had expressed a desire for another baby, stating, it just freaks me out to go through that again. I want to have another baby. I would love that. Cody, too, was initially supportive, envisioning a future where they would be glad they underwent IVF when they were older. However, a clip from 2013 revealed a change of heart, particularly on Cody's part. The couple, who publicly announced their split in January after more than three decades together, revisited their decision not to have more children. The shifting dynamics of their relationship and personal circumstances had led them to a different perspective, marking a significant evolution in their family planning journey. This reflection not only sheds light on the couple's intricate journey, but also underscores the complex nature of relationships and how priorities and perspectives can transform over time. In a candid moment on the reality show Sister Wives, Mary confronted Cody with a poignant question about expanding their family, asking, do you want to have another baby with me or do you not? Cody, reflecting on their past, admitted, I would do it if it just happened, emphasizing that the stakes weren't driving a burning desire in him. The couple had previously experienced the heartbreak of a miscarriage in the mid-2000s after more than a decade of trying to conceive. Looking back on these moments, Cody acknowledged that the challenges they faced illuminated the underlying health issues in their marriage. Mary, over the years, has been open about her fertility struggles. In May, she shared a poignant message about her previous miscarriage, which predates their discussion of embarking on another round of in vitro fertilization, IVF. During a recent travel day, Mary observed a group of carefree teenage boys, triggering a mix of emotions. She couldn't help but smile and reflect on what could have been with her own child, imagining the joy and memorable moments of adolescence. Mary, expressing bittersweet sentiments, disclosed her belief that the lost child would now be 15, revealing her ongoing wonder about the life they might have had together. Though uncertain about the gender, before the miscarriage, Mary's intuition led her to believe it was a boy. In a reflective Instagram post, she shared her thoughts on the healing power of witnessing the exuberance of teenage boys, realizing that such moments brought a sense of solace. Despite the sorrow surrounding the loss, Mary found a healing moment in the joy of seeing young boys alive and happy. As the sister wife saga continues, viewers are invited to delve deeper into the Brown family's emotional journey. Part 2 of the Sister Wife Special, Look Back, where we started airs on TLC Sunday, December 31st, at 10 p.m. Eastern Time, promising a more profound understanding of Mary and Cody's experiences and the ongoing dynamics within the plural marriage. Mary found herself at a crossroads, hesitating before taking the decisive step away from Cody, her troubled relationship casting a long shadow over her past. The persistent negativity she endured throughout the years with Cody undoubtedly left an indelible mark, fostering a cycle of discontent and unhappy thoughts. However, against this backdrop, she displayed a courageous spirit by venturing into a new chapter of her life, the realm of entrepreneurship, as she borrowed money to establish her bed and breakfast at Lizzie's Heritage Inn. Despite Mary's cautious approach to life post-Cody, there were subtle signals of a newfound boldness. A striking change manifested itself in the form of a vibrant red hair color, proudly displayed on her Instagram account. This seemingly minor alteration spoke volumes about Mary's desire to unearth a different facet of herself, breaking free from the shackles of her past. It symbolized a courageous step toward self-discovery, suggesting that the future held untold possibilities. The unpredictable nature of what lay ahead left the door wide open for Mary to re-enter the dating scene. 
Breaking free from the constraints of her past meekness, she seemed poised to explore uncharted territory. While the decision to change hair color might be dismissed as a cosmetic adjustment, for Mary, it served as a powerful symbol of personal transformation. Yet, the journey toward a post-Cody life was far from straightforward. The anxieties born out of her tumultuous relationship with Cody posed formidable challenges. Mary's difficulties in navigating the dating arena hinted at deeper struggles, perhaps rooted in her pre-Cody experiences. It would be unfair to place the entirety of the blame on Cody for every aspect of her life, but his significant role in shaping her dating attitude couldn't be overlooked. Even Christine Brown, another spouse in the polygamous relationship, openly acknowledged grappling with dating anxiety influenced by Cody, a sentiment that resonated with Mary's own struggles. Mary was bravely forging her path in a world after Cody, tentatively reaching out to potential love interests. Yet, there lingered a palpable sense that her heart wasn't wholly invested in this pursuit. The external pressure to date, likely fueled by the demands of the show, should not supersede the importance of her internal healing. Mary needed to prioritize her own well-being over societal expectations. In contrast to Christine's more open approach, Mary and Janelle appeared to proceed with a degree of caution, recognizing the complexity of their individual journeys. Mary had once attempted the conventional role of a wife within the polygamous family structure, and the results were far from successful. However, the upheaval she experienced did not dictate her destiny. Regardless of whether she chose to embrace a future with or without a spouse, Mary had the agency to define her own narrative. The red hair, perhaps a symbol of rebellion against past constraints, signaled a newfound strength and resilience. As Mary navigated the uncharted waters of life beyond Cody, one thing became clear, her story was still unfolding, and the possibilities for self-discovery and growth were boundless.